Hello there, welcome to another video. Today I'm talking about how I made this little gaming controller, headphones, wall mount holder with LED. <laughs> It was a pretty easy build and I did this for the Rockler Hobby Challenge, which hobby, as you can guess, is some gaming and, you know, mixed with woodworking. So I do a little bit of gaming on this Xbox, you can see the monitor here, um, and then, you know, controller and headphones. And I want to get into the PC gaming life, the real life, but I need some money for that. So right now, we just go with the Xbox and for all you gaming nerds out there. Xbox controllers are better than PS3, PS4, PS5, PS12 controllers. Xbox has always been a better controller. So that's mainly why I like it, Xbox. And plus Halo. The new Halo is gonna be sweet. So yeah, that's what I did for this build. Now for this Rockler Hobby Challenge. I wanted to build something simple, something I could, you know, prototype and potentially sell. Um, so I thought of this gaming board. Um, I took what Four Eyes had done for like a shelf, like a, what do they call it? I forgot what they call it. The one that has like, you know, the clip on the back with the angle and you hang it on there and it sits on like a bracket on the wall. The Four Eyes Furniture guys had made a shelf uh, that's modular and I was gonna do the same thing for this build, put my Xbox in it, put a controller, put a shelf for like some, you know, random game items. And I decided it'd be kind of silly to do that because they already did it and they're part of this hobby challenge and so I was like let's just do something different and so I did something different and just did this and so the build for this is rather simple I ultimately wanted to do something LED because gamers love LEDs and so I wanted to be able to put the LEDs coming from behind this mount I made it where I just put a half sheet of plywood on the front here and then on the back, I did another half sheet with a fourth inch for some spacing. And then I put the LEDs around the bottom sheet so that the lights would be pointed outwards. And so I bought some LED lights from Amazon. They're pretty cheap, like eight bucks. And then I'm gonna just put this around here. I never used these actually before. So, a little bit hard to do this. But I want y'all to see some of it. This wood is a one half inch, which fits this wire perfectly. And then it's like a eight foot strand, something like that. Five feet, it's pretty small. It's the smallest one I could find on Amazon because I knew I wasn't gonna make it big. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can see this pretty good. So I have a little bit more, should I just keep wrapping it around? I think I might do that. So you got the LEDs going around this, all the way around, down to the bottom here. And I should find a better way or a clean way to do this um, if I ever sell these. Um, and then I have it going around all the way. So when you put it on the wall, then the light will just protrude from the sides and then through this uh, hole right there for the controller. So let's hang this up. Also, I put some holes right here for just some nails. So you can just put two, two screws, two nails, whatever, into the wall and then hang it on there. It's on, baby. And so that was basically the build. Um, I just took the dimensions, kind of put my controller up to the wood, and did enough spacing. None of this was like super planned out. It was just kind of run and gun. 
I did want to have some LEDs shining on the controller and the headphones, but I can only find a good way for the controller. And as you can see, there's some lights that come off the bracket that are shining up. And you can kind of see that here, maybe in my darker picture, darker video, you can see it better, but there's no lights coming from the headphones. If you have any good ideas on what I should do to get LED lights to shine on the headphones, let me know. Something that's slick, something that's clean. I was thinking about like drilling uh, like three holes on each side, like right by um, the earpiece maybe, and then have the LEDs facing out. And so it would shine on the headphones. I could do something like that, or I could like build another arc or something and then put the LED lights under that. One of the main things I didn't want to do is, is I didn't want the LEDs to be like shining in your eyes when you looked at it. I wanted it to be ambient. And so that's why I didn't just have them shining straight through the board. I had them going out. But yeah, that is my Rockler Hobby Challenge build. And we can see that it comes with this controller. I bought this from Amazon and it has some strobe effects. Here, let's get this in focus. It's got some strobe effects. Get some flash, and then it has individual colors as well. Oh, there. I don't know if you can see that very well. There we go. Sweet. So there should. All right, that's a little distracting. <laughs> Let's just go to white. So that is about it of this build. I will be coming out with a version two, but if you have any ideas on how to make this cleaner, cooler, let me know. Maybe I put like a plaque and put your name on it or have multiple LED strips so we can do different colors at the same time or like do half and half or do like one color coming out of the board and one color going on the side of the board, something like that. But if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in buying something like this. Also let me know in the comments and how much you would buy for. Would you buy for 50, 100? Let me know. Uh, and that is my build for the hobby challenge. So go to my Instagram, like the photo and comment, let the guys know that you like it or don't like it. <laughs> Either way, it's not the most complicated build. There's some really cool projects out there that you should go check out as well. But thank y'all for watching. Thank you for stopping by. So make sure you like, you subscribe, and I will see you online. <laughs> Alrighty, see y'all out there.